Okay, welcome to uh, part one of this tutorial. Um, in this video, I'm just going to basically show you, well, how to do what I described previously. Um, just before we start, uh, I've, I've emptied this folder, so it's currently got zero files in it, and I've also blanked the PHP code from this file, and I've just turned this back into a standard HTML sort of form, basically. Um, so this will upload sort of a single file, so allow you to select a single file. So I just go back to our browser, reload this page. If I click on Browse, you see now, like previously, we could select multiple files. Now it will only allow me to select one. Whereas, like before, holding Control, which I'm doing, clicking on that, it now selects one. Whereas before, it would select um, more than one. Okay, so that's sort of where we're starting from. Um, the HTML is just a standard upload form. I've covered this in one of my basics videos, so I'm not going to explain the details of that here. Um, I will point out though that you need to set this. Um, otherwise your uh, files array will not be populated so yeah you just need to do that if you want to understand why go back and watch my basics video on file uploads uh, if it doesn't exist then sorry and message me and I will upload it okay so um, right so say we wanted to upload a single file using this simple HTML form the way we would do this is first we would check if the uh, form has been submitted I'm going to do that by checking for the uh, component of the files array. So we can check for files, file. Whoops, no, sorry, if is set. Is set, there we go. So if that is set, um, we want to do something. And that's something that we want to do is move uploaded file. Takes two parameters. The first is the current location of the file, which again I've mentioned in my file upload tutorial, so I'm not going to cover that in too much detail here. But what we want to pass here is the temporary name, which PHP has stored for us in the files array, under the file. And just remember again that this corresponds to the name. Oh, sorry, the name of the um, input. So files file. Next element is temp name. Next key, sorry. Okay. And then the second parameter is the place we want to move the file to. So in this case, we're using the uploaded files folder. And again, that's just this folder here, which is in the same folder as our script, so it's sort of next to it. Let's go back in here. So we're moving into this folder, then we want a slash. Then just for this, we're going to be storing it with the current name of the file. Which again, luckily for us, PHP stores in the files array, and then in the sort of file key, and then it's just a name. Like so. So now we can test this, and it should upload the file, unless I've made any stupid mistakes. So reload the page, pick a file hit upload. It doesn't do anything so I haven't set a message, but if I reload this, you see that this file has appeared. If I just open it up, you can see that whoa whoops, okay, move the wrong window. Just line that back up. Okay. No, not quite. Uh, there we go. So if we just um open this up we can see that this is in fact the image that we just uploaded. It's actually my wallpaper at the moment. Um if you watch my other videos you're probably realizing now that I don't actually change my wallpaper that often. Not that that's important. So I'm just going to delete this because that's um, just a demonstration of how we do file uploads. Um, sort of using the standard method. Um, and if I just do, if I just replace this um, move uploaded file with print underscore r of the files array, um, we can just demonstrate the actual data that PHP has provided for us. So if we just click browse again and pick a different file, hit upload. I'll just view the page source to make it a bit clearer. Okay, so this is what's been printed out by the print underscore r. It's sort of the structure of the array that we've got. So you see that the files array is this sort of main block, sort of the whole thing basically. And inside it we have another array called file. Um, and that corresponds to our uh, input name, like I said before. So inside that file array we have an array, another array. Uh, it is another array of um, sort of information. So we have the file size, if there's been an error, the temporary name which we used, the type which we haven't used and we're ignoring for this, and the name, oops, the name, um, which is the file name which we also used. Uh, just a quick word if you are sort of trying to limit the uh, file type to say images, um, you can't trust this because it's actually supplied by the browser and can be basically set by an attacker. Uh, and I've mentioned this in my file upload security tutorial. Um, so if you want to make sure that nobody can execute like a PHP script on your server, uh, you need to check the extension. Although bear in mind that that is like the bare minimum check. People will still be able to upload PHP files, but they won't be able to execute them because they will have like the JPEG extension. So it'll just sort of show up as a corrupted image. 
Um, if you want to prevent that, you need to sort of analyze the file to get its MIME type, this type, directly. Um, I won't be covering that in this. I may do it in a sort of extended security tutorial, or perhaps in my next video, which will be on um, sort of secure file hosting, like a file upload site, basically. Okay, so uh, this is the files array that we have, the structure of the information that PHP has provided. So what we want to do is see what happens to this array when we uh, upload multiple files. So the changes we need to make to the HTML are uh, all in this line here. We need to change the name uh, to files and then two square brackets. What that will do is make PHP populate, um, it will treat it as an array. It's similar to the variable syntax, like say if you had um, test equals seven, that would create an array with test as seven as the element. And then when you do, if you like had this a few times, like now you'd have test with uh, uh, seven and six as each element of an array. So it's a similar way to that. So for each file, it'll put uh, something into an array. Um, so that's how we do that. Although that alone is not enough to make the browser uh, show its multiple file selector, what we need to do is add the HTML5 um, attribute. So uh, multiple equals multiple, like so. Um, this will work for Chrome, Safari, uh, Firefox current versions, uh, and probably some other browsers too. It won't work for Internet Explorer or Opera. Um, well, Opera, uh, I can't remember which version. I think the newest version does support it. Um, you can get Opera to show its multiple file selector by adding two more attributes. You can set min equal to one and max equal to like a large number, so 9,999. Um, and what this does is tells Opera the minimum number of files you want and the maximum number. Um, completely invalid HTML attributes. They're not even planned to be in HTML5 or 6 or 7 or at any point at all. Not that those last two are going to be considered at the moment. So if you don't mind using completely wrong attributes, you can get Opera to show its multiple file selector. But this is the main one for like sensible browsers, basically. Um, a note on Internet Explorer, it will uh, still work. I mean, obviously we're, we're going to be looping over each of the files, but for IE, there'll just be one file and we'll loop over it, sort of just loop over that and just upload that single file. So for IE users, this will look like a standard single file selector upload form. Okay, so the last thing we need to change is this name up here. So files, now we've called it files now because there are multiple of them. So you could call it like images or uploads or something, whatever you want. Files repeated seems a bit silly, but never mind. Okay, so let's just reload this page now and hit browse and we're going to select two files. So we'll select these two and hit open and then hit upload. And you see we've got this different array of information. If I just view the page source and bring this down here, um, you can see that in the files array we have this, a similar structure to before however each of the elements where it was previously a string it's now an array so we have the files um, like this was previously file and it had name equal to wallpaper and the type equal to this but now we have name as an array and it has an element in that array for each of the files so what we need to do is loop over um, these and process them but we also need the elements from the other array and the way we're going to do that is just by using the key because obviously um, element 0 here, Firefox wallpaper.png, um, corresponds to like element 0 in the other array elements. So the this, this is the temporary name of Firefox wallpaper that we uploaded. And the same applies to the size and the error, blah blah blah. Fairly obvious really. Um, so what we're going to do to upload multiple files using this array is just remove this. And we're going to use a for each loop. So we're going to loop over, I'm going to say for each loop over the temporary names so files files temp name like so as temp name which we define like that as a variable there and then if we just did like echo temp name oops temp name um, and then like a line line break not a line break a uh, new line character if we just uh, reload this and select two files again actually I might select three why not go mad, eh? Okay, upload. You see we get the, uh, well, I'll just view the page source to make it a bit clearer. You see we get the three temporary names, whoops, the three temporary names of those files we uploaded. So obviously we need the file name as well. So the way we do that is by also specifying the key in this for each line. So we can just specify key 
like pointing to this variable. I've mentioned this in one of my basics videos, so if you're not sure what's quite going on, then well, go and watch that. So now we can do um, like echo, <coughs> excuse me. Mm, okay, so echo files, files, name, and then it was the key. Because remember they sort of corresponded. Um, so if we re reload our page now, hit resend to re-upload the files. You see we get. Oh, I'll view the page source again. You see we get the three file names that are uploaded. So this is how we're going to move the files basically. Um, and this bit is basically the same as we did, had before. So we're just going to do move. Spelt right. Move uploaded. Loaded file. There isn't a function to move multiple files, you just have to do it one by one. It's not really a problem. Um, and the temp name is now in this temp name variable that we created. And the location we want to move the each file to is the uploaded files folder and then its current name, which we just outputted a moment ago. So it's files, files, name, key. Like so. So now when we uh, resend our data, I'll just make sure that the uploaded files folder is empty, which it is. You can see it refreshing. So if we just re click refresh and re-upload our files, and then go back to our uh, folder and hit reload, so you get these three files, and you can see their little thumbnails they've generated. Um, so if I just open this one, hopefully I won't get sued by the Stargate people. Um, sort of funny thing here, it's got a Windows send or don't send error message. Uh, apparently no one noticed that. I couldn't find it on the internet anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's it. That's pretty much the end of this video, and that's how you can upload multiple files with HTML5. Um, if I was a bit more prepared, I could have my Windows Virtual Machine started up, and I could show you what would happen with IE. Um, in fact, I might do that anyway. Um, so, prepare for a horrible jump cut. Okay, horrible jump cut over. Um, I've just started up my Internet Explorer 7 VM testing thingy. Um, I'm just going to show you what happens when you upload a file with IE. Um, so this is like, it's obviously, if I just view the page source, I was going to open Notepad, how great it did. Okay, um, you see we have the input type file, we have the name files, and the multiple attribute, and the min and max attributes. Multiple, learn to highlight. Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate what happens when you uh, look, um, also notice how much worse this form looks by default. Uh, I'm just going to demonstrate what happens. So here we have two files. If I hold control, which you can hear me doing that, control, and click on one of them, you see that it doesn't actually let you select multiple files. And if we just hit open on one of them and click upload, and then go back to our folder, nothing at the moment, hit reload, the file appears. Um, you know, you can open it up and there you go, that's the file. Ooh. <laughs> right. No copyright infringement there, honest. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much um, the end of this. Um, so everything, it'll work in most browsers. It's sort of backward compatible. Um, well, okay, it degrades gracefully for people with stupid browsers. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so thanks for watching, and um, I'm not sure what to say after that.